Hey guys, it's Elijah with another video. Just right here's my WWE NXT review for October the 9th, 2013. And right off the bat, this show was awesome. Uh, just A plus show, in my opinion. We have an awesome wrestling match. Uh, rare pants by Santana Garrett. Uh, a really strong Divas uh, program, really brewing up, even to be even more better. A uh, debut that was hyped. And uh, an awesome tag match from. Uh, uh, well, it wasn't awesome, but it was just awesome to see Enzo and Colin and Rob Van Dam and the solidification of a NXT Championship match that's going to happen next week. So, uh, we kick off the night with an RVD vignette promoting his appearance on tonight's show. And, uh, we get Antonio Cesaro and Leo Kruger stemming over last week where, uh, Kruger and, uh, Cesaro were fighting over, uh, uh getting to Bo Dallas and that Bo Dallas Invitational last week. And, uh, this was an awesome match. I just want to say it was an awesome match. Cesaro never fails to disappoint. Uh, Kruger's had some hit and miss matches lately. But um, this match was awesome. From head to toe, start to finish, top to bottom. Um, the crowd was into it. Chant We the People. Who, 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 who. Kruger. Getting behind Kruger and stuff. This match is awesome. Cesaro kind of dominated it for the most part. He hit uh, 13 uppercuts. Different uppercuts to uh, Kruger here. Um, we even got uh, a gut wrench suplex onto the ramp, which was awesome. Um, and Kruger even dived on Cesaro here. So this match was awesome, yo. Um, like I said, it was kind of back and forth. Like I said, Cesaro dominated most part. And um, then it comes where uh, Cesaro hits Kruger with a clothesline and hits him with the neutralizer for the win. And uh, this is the start of a feud. What a way to do this, especially what I'm about to tell you now. After the match... Cesaro gets on the top rope, flying knee to the throat, kills Kruger with a flying knee to the throat. So, yes, this is personal. And I guess this is a face turn for Leo Kruger. Uh, he's been acting like a face a lot lately with the hoo, 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 hoo. To me, that's something a, a face does to try to get the, the fans behind him. And he just got laid off by another heel. So, even though a lot of people don't see Cesaro as a heel, they just see him as a damn Superman. That's what they see him as. Then we find out that Rob Van Dam is facing the artiste, the modern day thespian in English, which was awesome. It wasn't much of a match, but it was awesome. Then we get Charlotte versus Santana Garrett. Nice to see Santana in the WWE ring. Hopefully, they would have the brains to bring him back um, with a full time deal. Um, I think this girl can go. She's definitely approved um, in the ring, and I would love to see her here in NXT. Why not? You got. Bailey, you got Sasha Banks, Paige, uh, Becky Lynch, or I like to call it Becky Charms, um, Emma. I mean, you got women, and then you got guy, girls like Kendall Sky and Alexa Bliss who are catching on really fast, and Veronica Lane, that they're all catching on pretty fast. So, I mean, why not get Santana and add her to the group? Um, so, I think that would be awesome if they do sign her. But anyway, this was an all right match. Charlotte's still kind of, you know, shaky and a little green. Um, but this match was pretty good. It was, you know, just all right, solid. And, um, you know, Santana's working over Charlotte and Sasha Banks and uh, Summer Rae, the mean girls of NXT, the boss lady and the first lady <laughs> of NXT. They've come walking down, and they're, like, mocking the fans and mocking the match and all that crap. And Charlotte wins with the flipping cutter. Um, I think that, I still think that's a really unique move. Um, she wins with the flipping cutter, then Sasha Banks and, uh, Summer Rae cut a promo, you know, the usual stuff. They've been cutting for the next, last couple of weeks. Um, the Paige comes out to brawl around with them. Um, they're just beating the hell out of Paige after a while, and Emma makes the save, runs them off, and afterwards we get, um... Backstage segment. They're talking to Tony Dawson, I do believe. It was Tony Dawson, that stupid ass haircut. Um, and, you know, they essentially they challenge Paige and Emma to a tag match next week. Then we get uh, another promo promoting Mojo Raleigh's debut next. Um, this guy's got a lot of damn energy. <laughs> then we get Mojo Raleigh versus Danny Burch. Um, Alright, debut. The crowd knew who Mojo was. Um, it didn't take much for them to get into him. And, um, Damn, this dude's got a lot of energy. 
I see why they are impressed with this guy. Like, half of the stuff he did here, he normally doesn't do at live shows. Um, i only seen a little bit of him, too. Like, every time I go to a live show, he usually doesn't wrestle. I only caught him, like, twice before, and that was before all of this. Um, so, but uh, it, the match was decent. It wasn't, it, it was all right. Mojo, um, damn, he's got a lot of energy. That's all I got to say about this. It's a couple of running splashes in the corner, which was, he's really agile with. This guy's got a lot of speed and agility. Uh, he's a big guy. He's like 280 pounds. And um, hits uh, Birch with a couple of shuttle tackles. Hit him with the butt bump to the face and kills him with a bonsai drop. <laughs> kind of, but not from the top rope. He just runs and just jumps and boom, hits it. And uh, wins with that. But like I said, really good debut. Stay hype, baby. Stay hype. I like his theme. Uh, or at least the intro to it. Um, then we get a backstage segment between Emma and Paige, which was just hilarious. Well, kind of funny. A little tickling funny. It wasn't hee-hee-ha over the top, but it was pretty funny. Um, Emma and Paige, they're arguing, kind of. Paige, you know, I had that. So you didn't have to come and save me. Yeah, well, but I did. And I'm an XT Divas well, Women's Champion, and I don't need you. And... You know, Tom Phillips comes up, well, Tony Dawson comes up to them and, you know, tells them about the challenge that Summer and Sasha um, issued, and they accept, and uh, Paige says she's going to pin them, and she said, nope, she said, I'm going to pin them, and Paige, they go back and forth on who's going to pin who, and um, <laughs> Paige is like, I'm a NXT Women's Champion, so I'm going to pin her next week, and Emma's doing a dance in her face, not for long, not for long, so I thought that was pretty, pretty funny. Then we get the, uh, the Legionnaires. <laughs> like, uh, Sylvester LaForte say, uh, Scott Dawson and Alexander Russo versus Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy. S-A-W-F-T, what? Soft. And, um, all right, tag match. But, uh, Dawson and, uh, Russo dominated it. Uh, so we never really got to see much from Enzo and Colin both. I do believe Enzo and Colin are both green in the ring. Uh, Colin's been in NXT, FCW for a long time. Uh, like a couple of years now, and Enzo's been there for like at least a year now, so they're both still incredibly green, but uh, they really didn't show me anything in this match, I don't think he showed anybody anything in this match, because they got dominated, uh, <laughs> and uh, Rusev um, makes Enzo tap out to the Accolade, which is a camel clutch, his name for it is the Accolade, then after a while, uh, after the match is over with, they toss Enzo out to bring in Colin, and they slap the accolade onto him, and he's tapping, and that's the end of it. Um, so they look strong here after getting beat a couple of weeks ago. So this is good. Like Dawson, love Rusev, and uh, Sylvester LaForge is just entertaining. Um, then we get a backstage segment with Sami Zayn, Renee Young, and Bo Dallas. You know, put over the title match next week, and. You know, Bo Dallas is talking in a gayest voice. <laughs> Sammy, I thought we were friends, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, you know, we can, why don't we just take over NXT together? You know, I could be the champ and we could be the tag team champions, blah, blah, blah. And Sammy Zane's like, yeah, you're right. You know, we can be the tag team champions. After I beat you for the NXT championship. And Bo Dallas is like, oh, you're unbelievable. <laughs> Just for some ridiculous stuff, man. But the backstage segment was good to put over the title match next week. Um, then we get the main event, RVD versus the Artiste in English. Not really much of a match here. Kind of a cat and mouse deal. RVD hitting all his kicks and spots on Aiden English. Um, Aiden English kind of fought back the last two minutes. Um, he kicks the ropes while RVD's trying to get in. So he essentially low blowed him without touching him. <laughs> And um, took over the match from there. Only lasted for like another minute. Then RVD hits him with a, with a big kick and a five-star flash splash for the win. And to end the show. And um, yeah, NXT this week, like I said, was really good. I really enjoyed it um, for the most part. Like I said, not many good matches, but Kruger and Cesaro was really good. Um, it was good to see Santana, like I was saying earlier. Um, Aiden English is awesome. RVD can never go no, no wrong when you see this guy. Um, Dawson and, you know, Rusev and Enzo and Colin, I like that they keep, they continue in that program and the Divas program all together. Awesome. <laughs>
So yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this episode and this review. This is large of another video, and I'll be back with my PWG Matt Rushmore predictions for next week's pay-per-view. So stay tuned for those. Peace.